Alright, so Fontaine is nearly upon us, literally around the corner. I just want to talk about what I'm hoping for, and what I hope for for the future and beyond Fontaine. Let's get into it. So, I won't lie, I have seen some things. I've seen some things in a dream. There was a couple things that actually surprised me that Hoyo is doing. Um, more like quality of life changes and they're basically changing how how the uh, party looks in the game you know maybe that's not what a lot of people have been looking for but it's like the little things that make the game look prettier that's something that Honkai Star Rail had going on is a lot of good looking things with that said that makes me hopeful that they are going to learn more from Honkai Star Rail. So, because, don't get me wrong, alright, two completely different games, but Hoyoverse is treating Honkai Star Rail a lot better than Genshin, let's be real here. So, I am hoping that they learn more from Honkai Star Rail, and they put that love that they have for Honkai into Genshin. And with what I've seen, it looks like they will be trying to do so. Now, moving forward, uh, I will talk about Honkai a lot. So, I'm not gonna lie, I've been getting kinda spoiled by Honkai Star Rail. Just so much in that game is so fantastic that I wish Genshin had. For one, the narrative is, I'm just gonna be straight up, so much better than Genshin. Right, don't get me wrong, Genshin has a good story, but they could do a little bit better by showing it better, telling it better, just like how Honkai does. Honkai gets straight to the point, Genshin wastes most of your time. So I'm hoping in Fontaine that the story is a lot better. Personally, I think the only time Genshin really got good was in Inazuma, right? There was a bunch of like unnecessary stuff in, in the beginning of it, but it really kicked off at the end. And I'm just hoping that Fontaine and beyond, I'm just hoping the story is treated so much better. Now other things that I'm hoping for is obviously big mommy milkers and stuff and big brolic men. <laughs> I'm joking. I, I'm not joking, but <laughs> no, what I'm hoping for is another permanent game mode other than the Spiral Abyss, right? Because Honkai has a spiral abyss it's called memory of chaos or whatever pretty similar but they also have the simulated universe which is a roguelike kind of game mode that is exactly what i think genshin needs i think it would be hella fun if we had that game mode or something more things that i kind of would like is probably a resin cap change i feel like genshin is long overdue for that because there are so many weekly bosses, bosses in general, um, there's more artifact domains, it's just there is a lot of stuff at this point to use your resin on. And 160, I'm sorry, just doesn't cut it right now. I also think that down the road, soon they should probably start doing triple banners. Now that probably sounds crazy, but <laughs> we're at a point in Genshin where there are too many characters to wait for. Uh, just look at Eula, dude. Took nearly, I mean, if not two years for her to even come back as a rerun. Bro, I literally, when I literally first started Genshin, which was like close to two years ago, Eula was the first banner I pulled on. So I am so glad that I managed to get her before this long awaited thing. And I feel bad for those people that have been waiting for her so long, dude. I couldn't imagine this suffering that you guys have must have been going through. They should probably start doing triple banners so something like that doesn't happen again. But another thing about triple banners, it might be scary for free to play players because they would have to worry about, I don't know, six banners in total because like you got you would have three in first phase and then three in second phase to be honest i think the average free-to-play player pulls one character each each patch you would have to choose one out of six characters that would be a very tough choice indeed i don't know i i, I really don't know what the best course of action would be let me know what you think about that that idea Ooh, another thing that would be cool um, again, I'm gonna mention Honkai again. They have this thing where you can 
re-roll an artifact. You know, kind of like what Genshin already has, but they have another thing where you could re-roll an artifact with a main stat of your choosing. I feel like that should be good right there. And uh, speaking more on the artifact side of things, you should definitely add more strong boxes. Having more options to reroll artifacts into would be nice. Yeah, I hope the uh, I hope the water water areas are actually fun. But from what I've seen in the little like preview trailer, it does not look fun. I'm sorry. I don't think it's gonna be as enjoyable as some people think. But I mean. It is what it is. It's probably going to be hit or miss things for, for most people. I personally probably won't enjoy it. We'll have to see. Other than that, I just, I hope they learn from Honkai Star Rail. Do more quality of life changes. Change the resin cap. You know, maybe add new permanent game mode other than Spyro Abyss. Something. More artifact strong boxes. And uh, mainly hope the, I mainly hope the narrative is going to be a little better. Yeah, I mean... That's pretty much all I, I hope for, at least for now, of what I can think of. And I hope they improve in the future as well, beyond Fontaine. So, we'll, we'll have to wait and see how Hoyoverse treats Genshin Impact 2 from here on out. So, uh, let me know what you guys hope for and wish for and foresee and, you know, what you want for the future of Genshin. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching me ramble. Mm, yeah. Take care. See you in the next one. Ah! How about you subscribe to Kiro and come back for the next video?